What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to discuss a point I am seeing all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over Reddit and all over the Bungie forums. And that is the question of, should the Forsaken DLC this fall be a free DLC? Now I ain't going to lie, it bugs my mind as to why people think this should be free. It really does. And we will get into that in a second. But hey you sexy bastards. Would you guys like to support my channel? You can by hitting that like button. It truly does help me and my channel out. So thank you very very much. Okay so where to start? I'm guessing if you are watching this video you have seen the Forsaken DLC VDoc and the stream review. You know to a point of what we get with the Forsaken DLC and the annual pass. The price of the Forsaken DLC alone is around $40. The annual pass is $35. If you purchase them together you save $5 so in total it will cost you $70. With the annual pass you get a further three expansions or mini DLCs. You get the Black Armory in Winter 2018, Joker's World in Spring 2019 and Penumbra in Summer 2019. Those additions will include new in-game challenges, new weapons, armor and vintage items to collect, new and return exotics, new pinnacle activities, new triumph records to collect, all new in-game lore to discover and much much more according to Bungie. Now to actually play these DLCs, to play the Forsaken, to play the Black Armory, Joker's World and Penumbra, you actually need to already own Destiny 2 and the Curse of Osiris expansion and the Warmind expansion. Bungie have mentioned that prior to the release of the Forsaken DLC, bundles will be made available for the complete collection at a discounted price. Okay so let's get into the facts here. Yeah? Destiny 2 from the very start has been a letdown. It isn't the game we all expected. We got the first expansion, The Curse of All Souls, which wasn't great at all. Many thought it would bring many changes and updates to the core game, which just didn't happen. This DLC got boring after a week at most. We then went ages waiting on the Warmind DLC. Bungie between The Curse of All Souls and Warmind completely changed, in my opinion due to the fact the game was failing and they needed to be well more transparent and listen to the community more and respond more. And that happened and to be honest, Warmind if you haven't played it now is a 10 times better expansion in every way than The Curse of All Souls and things are definitely under up. The game right now is actually pretty good, not incredible, but it's definitely good. It is 100% picked back up. It's heading towards the game we loved at the end of Destiny 1. The end result, in my opinion, come full, will be the best Destiny we have ever had. Plenty of things to do, many things to chase and loads of shit to kill. What we want from a looter shooter. But right now it's a long way off being where we want it to be. But the major changes we wanted are being brought back with the Fall expansion, the Forsaken, random rules and weapon slot changes are what we most wanted from D1 which we ain't already got already. They are coming with the addition of two new destinations, new strikes, a new raid, nine new supers, new exotics, new everything people. The Fall expansion though is known to be special. It was with Destiny 1 and it looks as though it will be with Destiny 2. Destiny 2 will be great again. Maybe the best it's ever been as a franchise. Now I know most people bitching about the price clearly are lacking a few brain cells here. Bungie is a major corporation. How many employees do they have? I'd say probably close to a thousand. These are people with families. These are people with lives of their own. There is just no way on this planet a major project like the Forsaken DLC could be free. I mean it's more or less impossible considering the game right now. Anyone with 2 plus brain cells would know this. And please don't say, well Fortnite is free, Epic support their hundreds of employees. Fortnite is a game based on microtransactions and it does great for that reason. Destiny isn't that type of game and doesn't have that kind of system in place and one wouldn't really work now anyway. Maybe if it started out that way, like Warframe, maybe, but now 4 years later, not a chance. Eververse is nothing like the item shop, Destiny is nothing like Fortnite, Bungie are nothing like Epic, please stop comparing them. What I will say is though, people complaining about spending $40 on a DLC, you do understand what you get for that $40 right? You get thousands of hours worth of game time. For that $70 with the annual pass, you probably double them hours. You get thousands of hours worth of, well mostly fun. Within Fortnite you get a couple of skins, an emote and a glider for that price, all which look pretty for about 5 minutes. And then you get bored of them and you want something else. And yet people are still complaining. Let me tell you something I did last week, I took my girlfriend out for a curry, including the petrol driving there, food we ate, drinks we drank, petrol driving back, that come to over what would be $100. All I got out of it was a bit of sucky sucky and ring sting the next day from the curry people. And that's it. I've been to watch the Avengers twice, petrol getting there, price of the ticket, sweets, popcorn, drink, petrol back. 
easily $70 and I did that twice. Some people have done it three or four times yet complaining about a DLC for $40. For $40 you get a DLC which not only supports thousands of people which gives you thousands of hours of enjoyment. I don't even want to think about how much money I have spent on my daughter on Fortnite on skins. I was buying her at least one skin a week for at least three months. And you know why I did it? Because she enjoys the game. If you enjoy Destiny and want the DLC and want to support Bungie, you'll buy it. It's as simple as that. What I can understand is though, is someone buying the base game of Destiny 2, like most of us, realised it was pretty shit and gave up on it. They refused to buy either the Curse of All Stars or Warmind because they were waiting on reviews and the reviews were not great. They have seen the Forsaken and thought, well this looks amazing. I've actually got friends who are in this exact same position. They've seen the Forsaken and think, well I'm going to get back into Destiny, which I can understand. It does look great. But then they have seen that previous DLCs are needed plus the cost of the Forsaken. That for the everyday dude who isn't a millionaire, who has a family to look after, who has bills to pay, school to pay for, it makes sense they can be a little bit put off by the price. It won't be cheap. But like I said, Bungie have stated they will be offering bundles closer to the release of the Forsaken DLC. But people, it is what it is. In my opinion, what we get for the price of the DLC is cheap compared. It's also worth every penny for the thousands of hours of enjoyment we get out of it. I actually don't think there's anything else like it at the moment, but hey, that's just my opinion. Will I say this DLC should be free? No, I won't. It shouldn't be free, even if Bungie have made major mistakes in the past. And on that note guys, I am out. I just thought I'd make my opinion clear on this matter, as I know many people believe the same. If you don't and your opinion is different, you're welcome to leave it down below within that comments section. But guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave it a like, it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.